do we begin to tell the story? I think telling the story starts from being here and showing you the place and, and, and working on memories, really. We had to go back to Positano to tell the story of Oditali. To capture that spirit that we tried to put in a bottle. We need to show you Positano and where everything began. Positano is home. There's nowhere in the world like it. Years ago, my family relocated here to this tiny village on the Amalfi Coast to escape the bombings during the Second World War. After the war, they opened the hotel with only 10 or 15 rooms. And that's actually how Le Sirenuse began. And here we are. Fabled hotel. Without Le Sirenuse, there would be no Old Italy. Most of my childhood memories are connected to this place. Um, I spent all my summers here growing up. At night, I remember watching the women on the terrace, beautifully dressed and tanned, the men in dinner jackets. It was really quite epic. The family has always had an eye for collecting beautiful things. They decorated the hotel as they were their own home, because after all, it was their home. And over the years, it's grown, it's become far more beautiful, far more glamorous, far more sophisticated. Everything about the hotel is a delight for the senses. All that was missing was a fragrance. One afternoon in late 2001, we were looking for an idea to celebrate the Sirenuse's 50th anniversary. And at some point, the idea of a fragrance came up. We honestly can't remember who had the idea, but we caught it and uh, we started working on it nearly immediately. We began with the elemental sense memories of the place. The sun on your skin, the smell of sun-warm terracotta, the Mediterranean shrub that grows everywhere, all over the cliffs, the salty sea breeze, incense from the church up on the hill. We wanted to describe these feelings, these sensations, these smells. You smell something, it brings back a memory, it brings back a sensation, and then you try to communicate that. We worked with French perfumer Bertrand de Chauffour. He was able to translate our thoughts and feelings into a perfume, layer by layer. It took nearly two years to complete, but when we finished, we knew we had exactly what we wanted. People loved it. They really loved it. They got it. We realized we could create more than a place. It's a time and a feeling. As long as there are stories to be told, memories to be made, we'll keep on making fragrances. <laughs>